Hey everybody, it's Jamie here and a very warm, nay, hot welcome to Travel Blog Jamie. This is part dos of my four night festive cruise on Ambassador Ambition. You have missed part one? What? Let's rewind. <laughs> Up in part two, we head out of Amsterdam for some Edam, cheese, windmills, torrential rain, big pears, marijuana cheese, back on board for towel art, soggy tacos, formal night, fun and frolics, speciality dining at Saffron, the captain promises rough seas, a breakfast delivery I have to send back, empty pools, a day in Ghent, Belgium, where we ride the city's Ferris wheel, experience a leisurely boat trip, and then it's back on board to sample afternoon tea, all the festivities of festive night, quality time with my lovely table mates. They now call me One Sprout Jamie. It's the Baked Alaska Parade and a very chaotic disembarkation process, plus my final thoughts. Welcome to our second day in Amsterdam. Oof, it is still dark, but you know what? It's breakfast time. I hope it's better than yesterday. It was awful. And I'm then on an excursion of all things. Change that. Ding, ding. Out and about. Here we go. No, it's nothing like the one in London, unfortunately. It really annoys me how there's no tables for two here. Or if there are, they're very, very well hidden. Alrighty, so we have a deli section over here. Uh oh, I'm getting near the haddock and I'm feeling a bit pukey. Okay, I've never seen a block of butter like that. Wow. Fresh fruit, cereals and milk. They do have non-dairy as well. You've got your hot offerings. Not just me, my loves know. And obviously that line is for the egg chef. No, I'm not a fan of sloppy scrambled eggs, sorry. Now then, things are a lot calmer in here today, thank goodness. I think that's indicative of an overnight stay in port. Uh, here's my brekkie. I must say, I do like the bacon on board, it's very nice. The eggs, uh, as you saw, not so much. A little bit of fruit as well, because I'm so healthy. Oh, look, mulled wine at the ready, although not included in any drinks packages. £5.45. Alrighty, time to head out. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you. Well, heavy rain was forecast, and here it is. What a beautiful day to visit some windmills and a dam. This was about 42 pounds, by the way, for the excursion. I don't normally do excursions, but because I've been to Amsterdam many times, and I filmed it yesterday for you, I thought I'd do something different and go further afield. Tours clearly labeled. Well, this is very novel. The coaches are actually down here undercover. We've been asked to wait in the seating area until called. Very nice. Today's excursion will take us to Edam, Vollendam, and also Haldersbruck and Zandseeschans. Right, about 20 minutes from the cruise terminal, we've got Haldersbruck, and no, it's not raining and it's not windy. I don't know what you're thinking. It's beautiful. No, it really is. Never mind the greyness. Oh, windmills, windmills, operational ones. Uh, I got very excited then, and my, my voice went up about 15 octaves, and then a family were giving me a dirty look. I don't care what you think of me. <laughs> Honestly, I've got enough excitement for everybody. Oh, shops, clubs, windmills, souvenirs. Okay, imagine this in better weather. It's actually stunning. It really is. Oh, it is so cool. Wowzers, this is the demo room. Churn, my beauty, churn. Look at this, green pesto and cumin cheese. Never had this. Oh, it's nice, it's really nice. Absolutely get the basil in that. I mean, you would, look how green it was. And the cumin. Not so keen on that one. It's not actually very strong that came in that. Nothing is going to dampen my spirits. Just my clothes. Picture postcard pretty. How stunning it is. Wow, everywhere you walk, you can smell waffles and syrup. It's just insanely good. 
Take the bridge. Take the bridge. And don't fall in for goodness sake. Ooh, look what I found, folks. Nom nom nom. I need a hot drink, I really do. Oh, an apple flap. <laughs> visa, visa everywhere here. Cheers, coffee lovers. That will warm the cockles of the art. Wow, my loves, I've seen some big pears in my lifetime, but none as big as these. Look at the size of those bad girls. Could pretty much live in those. Oh, let's check out the wooden shoe workshop. And it's free. The singing windmills. Delightful, I must say. Oh my goodness, that's nearly as round as my own head. Wow, sirs. That's actually how I dance. Oh my goodness, there's something so warm and comforting about coffee shops and cafes and eateries over here. I love it. Even the toilets here are card payment only, which is awesome. Touch in, do your wee or your poo, off you go. We have one hour here. I'd like a bit more time actually, please, next time. And half hour later, we are in Edam. Yes, it's still raining. Oh, it's so pretty and pink. Yes. Um. And this is the beautiful bridge, actually, over the canal. Awesome. This is. I'm smitten. I really am. Oh, I want a pink bike. Cheers, everybody. Thank goodness for coffee and thank you, Jesus. Welcome to Volendam Cheese Farm. This was only about 10 minutes from Edam. Oh, you. You're beautiful. <laughs> We have 85 cows in total and each cow is the fattest milk and that's good when you make cheese. Oh, he's very charismatic. Time to go taste. Oh, they also have clog making workshops in here as well. Got everything covered if you like your clogs and your cheese. Oh my goodness, look at all these shots. I just worked my way through them. Fruit wine. Cheers everybody. Oh, that's actually really fruity, sweet. Nice. We've got a whole line of cheese tasting all the way down here. All right, I don't like anything smoked, so I'm going to go with the traditional gouda. Mm. Love it. Creamy. So this one's a bit older, expecting it to be a bit more mature, like some of you out there. Oh, that's harder and stronger, just like me. This one is Edam. Oh, that was a bit harder than I was expecting. Oh, now then, I tried pesto cheese for the first time earlier today. And I was a fan, I must say. Mm, love that kick of basil, great. Oh my goodness, stinging nettle cheese. That sounds dangerous. I don't sure if I'm insured for this. Just a small hint of herbs there. Mouth in stinging. This one is onion and garlic. I've been looking forward to this one. Mmm. That's oh, delicious. Oh, don't come near me. This one is a goat's cheese. Not normally my favourite, but oh god, and I've got a massive chunk. I think we'll have a dip with that one. Oh, that's really nice with the um, mustard, actually. Mmm, delicious. Right, they've got a cheesy beer and one with cannabis. Oh my god. Marijuana cheese. Lady gave me a massive amount. <laughs> Hopefully I'll be alright. Oh, I don't like that. Ooh. That's very pungent. Probably going to get high nails, aren't I? I'm not, obviously. Jalapeno cheese. I hope this has got a kick to it. Mm. That's a slow build of heat. I like it. 
Mouth now on fire. So on this tour, you're gonna to get about four hours in total. Um, I definitely recommend this in spite of the weather. It's been great fun. I've tried some very new things. Um, I think feedback from guests also is that they're really enjoying it, but wouldn't mind a little bit more time at each stop. You have a very Merry Christmas, a Merry lovely Christmas, New Year. Lady. God bless, uh, enjoy each other, be nice to each other, and good health for everybody. That's the most important. Love you, bye bye. Love you. Well, there she is in all her glory, basking away in the tropical climes of the Netherlands. Back on board. Ah, oh, I can smell the more wine. Look at that. Oh, look what I've come home to. Oh, what a cutie. Love this one. Alrighty, I'm gonna try the al fresco grill for my lunch. I've got salads here. There's also uh, a pork and vegetable salad. We've got tacos, wedges, pizza. Oh, the taco looks quite nice actually. It's like uh, chili beef, a few wedges, tiny slice of pizza. So I think things are set out quite nicely here actually. Okay, but that's obviously been sat a while. Very soggy. Full action only with this taco. Might not be able to pick it up by hand, but it's actually very tasty. Very nice flavor, some uh, ground beef there. All right, let's try out an ambassador pizza. Not very hopeful looking at that base. No, that's not a good base. Kind of like shop bought. I'll eat my hat if that's made on board. All right, no joke. I helped myself to a coffee from the dispenser over there. It tastes like mulled wine. Methinks there was something else in that dispenser previously. But Holy macaroni, I thought someone was weeing on my window. Scared the baby jeebies out of me. Here's the activity schedule for today. Uh, as you can see from 9.30 through to 4.30, there ain't a great deal happening. We're, we're talking walk-in, trivia, cards, and bingo. Live music kits in from five o'clock uh, through the evening. I can spot a silent disco as well, although not on until quarter past 11. That's way past my bedtime. Let's see if I can make it. Look, that's the men who are weeing all over my cabin window. Radio, I've just finished editing and uploading a new vlog to my channel, and now Angel Bar for a quick coffee. Good news and bad news to share with you. The bad news is it's formal night, so I've got to spruce these old bones up. The good news is we're expecting some rough seas and long swells. Yes! Oh, thank you, Ambassador. Ooh! And ready for a night out. Oh, I hate wearing these things. Oh, little dog, look, we're on the move. See you later, Amsterdam. I love you. I don't know this ambassador crowd very well. Will they be dressed up? Will I look overdressed? Should I remove all my clothing? Will there be lots of mutton dressed as lamb? Rump dressed as filet mignon? I'm just gonna film as I walk forward so we can get a good shot of what people look like. I think we've got all sorts, haven't we? Let's do another not so subtle pan around so you can see. Oh my God, that's not dressing up, is it? What about these three? That's a no. I couldn't care either way what you wear, my love. Come in your knickers if you want. Won't bother me. Cheers, everybody. Here's to a lovely evening. Bye, Amsterdam. Hopefully it won't be long till I'm back. And bring in Maffle next time. He loves a bit of Amsterdam, but not marijuana cheese. He'd hate it. Come on, keep up, dear. You know, in these Facebook groups when people say, oh, the vast majority of people are wearing their tuxes they are sitting on a ship of lies. I'd say half the passengers tonight are not wearing suits or tuxes. They're not. Listen, my darlings, I could eat a scabby horse and a drunk donkey. I'm going in to Saffron Speciality Dining. Yes, looks nice in here. Well, I had a lovely warm welcome. Nobody puts Jamie in. Oh, I am, I'm in the corner. I do have fabulous views sailing out of Amsterdam though. Hey everyone. Okay, so it's £16.95 per head to come here. Um, you get all of those starters. You then choose 
a main course, and then there's your dessert. Cheers, everybody. I mean, standard Pinot Grigio, it's fine. So this is like an amuse-bouche. It's coriander, ginger, lime, and goodness knows what else. Ooh, it's actually quite nice, you know. Very fragrant, fresh, green. God, pick your chairs up. Well, that definitely amused my bouche. And here is my starter. I've got kebab, tandoori chicken, paneer, samosa, and a salad. And that comes with naan and three chutneys. Right, in summary, the bread is absolutely delicious. It's very light. Samosa, crispy, fragrant, spicy. Chicken, I'm not so keen on it. It's lacking in flavor and it's not the nicest bits of chicken. Also, I think the kebab could do with a little bit of color on it. The paneer was nice, but again, I think it should have been charred. Also, I think the white onion should be shredded rather than sliced like that. It's too big. Thank you very much. Alrighty, so here's my rice. I love the fact it's topped with fried onion. Thank you. And from left to right, I have dal, aloo gobi, paneer with spinach, chicken tikka, and raita. A little more bread as well. All right, the verdict. Well, the chicken is, again, not the nicest pieces, actually. Not a fan of that. Dal, very tasty. A nice kick of chili. Uh, the winning dish here, actually, is the aloo gobi, which has... The potato has been fried beautifully. It's really flavoursome. The paneer in here is just lost. Um, that's the chicken tikka. It's not chicken tikka. And then there's a raita. I've had that a thousand times. The rice... It's nice actually, but it's very interesting. It's got apple and pineapple in it. So it's not like any kind of Indian rice I've had before. On the whole though, everything needs more flavor. It needs more spice as well. It'd be really good if when the staff took your order, they asked what kind of spice level you wanted. Um, I'm sure I could ask for more chili. I just think it all lacks a bit of flavor though. In terms of all the Indian restaurants I've ever been to on any cruise line, I'd say this was my least favorite. And since the starters and desserts are always the same, it's one and done. And there you have Saffron. Lovely service, very nice venue, nice food. And that's the issue, it's nice. It needs to be really good, especially when you're paying extra for it. Sorry. Oh, let's have a little walk through the shopping gallery yeah, with our wine. What a lush. It's so quiet, I feel like I need to whisper. You can see what's what, can't you? You don't need me to talk you through it, do you? No, you don't. It's like every other shop you've ever seen on a ship, okay? And then at the end, you've got your Svavovsky stuff and it costs a fortune. Bloody hell. And then we've got confectionery, rum, gin and whiskey. Oh, look, it's the purple turtle wine bar. Everything is so quiet. I think it's because people are still in the main dining room and there's also a show on musicals. I do like this wine bar, it looks fabulous. It looks even better when there's nobody in it. I'm not allowed to film in the play in the theater. I might do though, I don't care anymore. I just don't. don't care today, don't care today, right, well I'm now gonna change into my late evening attire. <laughs> Imagine me having that. It basically means getting rid of all this and putting something else on. Get off me, get off me, get off me. Oh, yes. Ooh. There you go. Now that's much more comfy. And I think actually, and I'm going to argue this point, it looks just as smart. Don't you think this looks smart? I think it looks smart. I don't need to be strangled around my neck. Well, my glass of wine thinks I look smart like this. Just saying. I know what you're all thinking. Oh, he's getting drunk now. He's going to get leery and unfiltered. Bite me. <laughs> oh my goodness me, disembarkation information, <laughs> it's really hard to say that, disembarkation information is already here in my cabin. You have to be out of your cabins by 7 bloody a.m. That's like CMV that I remember, ugh. Yet on my deck, a boat deck, you can't get off the ship apparently until 10.15. That's three hours and 15 minutes of lolling around. Now then, we have entered a lock and we need to go up, 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 up. Oh, and by the way, the biggest locks in the world, oh yes, they are here. Fountain of knowledge. 
Right, two things. I am gonna register for Lightning Lane. Uh, I mean, Genie. Pl I mean, <gasps> Fast Pass. Oh my God, what's it called? Express disembarkation. And I'm gonna have me a premium breakfast delivered tomorrow morning. It's eight pounds ninety-five, which I think is a lot, especially if you're traveling solo. But Jesus, I want it delivered. I want it in my tum. I want it in the morning. Right, pop that one there. Oh my days, they are always busy. What the hell are they doing in there? Maybe they're at it 24 seven. Maybe they're not even alive anymore. This is the one I need. Oh, I'm never gonna get there in that little slot, am I? Oh my God, left. Disembark me early, please. I've come to the Pendennis bar. Is that how you pronounce it? Pendennis, Pendennis. Uh, it's nice and quiet in here. They actually have like a show lounge area around the corner, but you know me, I'm a shrinking little violet. Oh my God, is that even the expression? Come on, we want rough seas. Let's get out into the open. Cheers again, my darlings. Good job I only have wasp's breath of alcohol, isn't it? No movement yet either. Ooh, I want a rough night. <laughs> It's the not very silent, silent disco. Oh, I really wanted some late night snacks, but they've all disappeared from the lounges like 15 minutes prior to closing of late night snacks. Boo. Superman always carries his lavender spray for his pillow. Oh yes, he does. Bring me home to town, goodbye. La 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 la, it's gonna be wet. No nibbles tonight, my darlings, because the shop closed at 11. And as I said just now, there were no late night snacks left. I'm not very pleased about this. Tomorrow should be an interesting day. I am heading off to Ghent in Belgium for the Christmas markets and goodness knows what else. Good night, my darlings. I love all of you. Well, not you, not you, not you, not you. Most of you. Mm -hmm. I am awaiting a knock at the door. They better well be bringing me my breakfast. Here we go. Right, it's here. Is this going to be worth eight ninety-five? Well, the first thing that hasn't impressed me is the man who just dropped that off said for the coffee you can make it yourself and pointed at my kettle i kid you not what kettle is on thanks so much for that ambassador i mean the hot food looks good uh very runny eggs so i won't be able to eat some of that tiniest bowl of beans i've ever seen in my life cold cardboard toast some pastries they don't look too bad fruit very very kind of them to bring more sachets of coffee there's no salt or pepper unfortunately right my darlings i'm being a diva aren't i, I i've packed it all up i've not eaten it i had a, a nibble of the cold dry toast and i found um and asked them to take it away and to refund my money i'm not paying nine pound for that and being told to make my own coffee i'm just not but i did make my own coffee gotta have life balls first thing well, welcome to Zeebrugge, Belgium, everybody. Now, this really is the gateway to some fabulous medieval towns like Bruges and Ghent. And of course, you've also got the capital, Brussels, which is well worth a visit. There's also the nearby town, Blankenburg, which is a seaside resort, and Ambassador provide a free shuttle from the ship to Blankenburg. You could make your own way to Bruges from there via the train station, or of course, Ambassador put on uh, paid shuttles to Bruges and Ghent and Brussels. Okay, let's get out. Quick bite to eat in the buffet before I head to Ghent. Lady next to me just said, oh, it's such a bun fight up here, isn't it? And I concur, lady. This morning is not a good one. Let's get a little bit snug outside in one of these snoozy woozy chairs. So one thing that also occurred to me, if you are a solo passenger like myself, and you order that breakfast, you're gonna pay the same price as two three, four people in a cabin doesn't seem quite right to me. Give me a discount. Still no filled pools. Oh, 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 oh. Alrighty, a quick coffee in the lovely Angel Bar before we disembark for Ghent. Alrighty, let's get this clump of molecules off of here. 
I need to meet Dockside for my transfer to Ghent. Welcome to Ghent everyone, otherwise known as Ghent here. So that was a very straightforward one hour drive from the ship straight into the center of Ghent. I am literally just gonna explore with me peepers, with me feet and see where it takes us. Pretty gorgeous though. And it's not raining, hurrah, about 10 degrees Celsius today. Oh, by the way, fountain of knowledge, 260,000 inhabitants in Ghent. Oh, I see boat trips. I wonder if I could get a ticket. Before heading in that direction, I want to have a peep at the main square and the Christmas markets. I need to feel more Christmassy. All sorts of food stores here. It smells delicious. Pop-up bars for Christmas. Oh, the smell of fried onions. Give them to me. Christmas company shop. Ooh, Richard's Bar. Any dicks out there? Nine euros per adult to ride the wheel. Six euros if you're a child. I should have been given child price. Ride that wheel. Most people don't believe me when I say I have a bit of a fear of heights. I'm doing it anyway. You only live once. Y'all only live once. I might not live beyond this. Up, up, up and away. Oh, I don't like noises like that. Oh. We're halfway there. Help me, help me, help me, help me, help me, help me. Oh my god. Oh my god, don't stop, don't stop. Oh, we got Christmas market stores everywhere. Oh my goodness, hot Aperol. What a winter special that is. You gotta watch out for trams, you gotta watch out for bikes, you gotta watch out for me. That is a lovely looking waffle shop. Oh, this is a lovely square just by the canal boats. Let's go and have a peep and see how much these boat trip tickets cost and how long a boat trip is. We've only got two hours, 45 minutes in Ghent, so I don't wanna waste my time. If you've been to Bruges, uh, obviously there are similarities. It's a medieval town. This one is obviously much more spread out. Okay, not bad. 40 minutes, nine euros 50 for an adult, six euros for a child. Oh, I made the next sailing just in time. Here we go. This is an awesome boat. It's partly enclosed, partly exposed, just like me. <laughs> There's a stack house for grain. Today, as we know, we have fish in the garden. Iedereen moet zijn eigen draak doen voor de iets beetje koeien in the sea coast. So in the entrance, next to me is Tom Pieter. He's a bit afraid. With the name Heineken. A bit further when the river comes to an end. Next in the 19th century. Automatic spinning machine for cotton. So he wants to on Friday market we also have a first uh, mm -hmm. Is that noise for the press? Yeah. 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 On the same spot? Something in stone. It was built 1100 in Syria. It's a very touristic country. said to his wife, Honey! Yeah. And there you go. Guided tour of Ghent via the waterways. If I had a penny for every time the guide on the boat said that used to be a brothel, I'd be a rich man by now. Alrighty, let's keep exploring. Well, would you look at that? Bit of roller skating, how awesome that takes me back, I've got to say. Oh, look, there's a champagne bar. Oh, oysters, how vile. If you ever want to see me vomit, give me oysters or too much tequila. 
Oh, the sun's coming out and suddenly everything looks even nicer. Well, Ghent certainly has a lot of Christmas marketage going on, folks. What the actual hell is this? like a thousand Madonnas in concert. I found an espresso bar. Of course I did. This is Ghent. Well, that's a thing of beauty. And back at the ship. Well, it's tea time at the buffet. This is the gluten-free station. Finger sandwiches, focaccia, wraps, sausage rolls, a bit decimated. Crumble, custard, chocolate sauce. Eclairs, Florentine cookies, oh, blueberry scones, plain scones. Do you say scone or scone? Or scone? Coffee, please. Oh, no, look at that. I found a table for two in the buffet, the only one I've seen. You never know where your next meal is going to come from, so pilot, hi. Well, as far as an afternoon tea in the buffet on a cruise ship goes, that's not a bad one. There you go. See, it can be positive. Give me nice things, do nice things. I'll be very positive. And just like that, packing done. Thank you, packing cubes. Oh gosh, don't look at my dirties. And for the last night, behold, Christmas shirt is out. <laughs> oh my God, look. They're still busy and I'm sure I can hear some creaking in there. I'm just jealous, really. All right, a little bit of entertainment at the Pendennis Bar. I don't know how this got here. Cheers. Ugh, fixed dining lines. Although it does seem to go very quick to get in. All righty, table 70. Oh, Jesus, I'm falling over. Table 78. It's festive menu. Hello. We're also leaning quite considerably. <laughs> That's we leave Zebra. Hello, how are you? Oh, hello, thank you. You're welcome. The table looks lovely. Ah. Right, festive menu fun. What do you reckon I'm gonna have? Post your comments now before you actually see what I'm getting. I dare you. Are you gonna be correct? Are you brave enough? Right, who's pulling my cracker then? Who's? Come on. Thank you. Pull me. Cr oh. Jesus, I always lose. I always lose. Look, I'm being given chances. I never win the pull the cracker ever. Oh my god, oh my god. The mystery calculator, that's way, way beyond my years. How did Scrooge win the football game? The ghost of Christmas passed. No, Les, don't laugh, that's terrible. Cheers, everybody. Cheers. 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 Alrighty, did you guess? I am starting with Welsh rabbit. <coughs> Strong and cheesy, just like me. You say tomato, I say tomato. You say tomato, I say tomato. Ooh, that's quite nice actually. Very rich flavour. Deep, rich, creamy, just right. Turkey roast. Although I've only got one Brussels sprout, look, it's been chopped in half to make it look more. Very clever, Ambassador, but I see right through you. It ain't like my roast, but you know, actually very nice. I just like more, that's all. I always want more. <laughs> Ugh, I've had a drought now for the last half hour. They are very busy, I know. I'm waiting for the baked Alaska parade. They don't actually bake Alaskans. It's the dessert. It's incredibly hard behind the scenes. Come on, bake my Therefore, Alaska, babies. Bake my Alaska. Raise your napkins. Wave them nice and high above your head for your galley tea with their feet.
bless them, look. <laughs> But can you please give me more than one sprout next time? Thank you. That is the lovely thing, isn't it? A thing of beauty. No, not the wine. The baked Alaska parade. Oh, mince pie, shortbread, cheese board. There you go. Baked Alaskans. At least 20 in a slice. More entertainment. Yay! Thank you, Jesus. Alrighty, a reminder, I have to vacate my cabin by 7 bloody a.m. As does everyone else, unless you're in a suite. God bless all of you in suites. Uh, breakfast available at Borough Market and the Buckingham Restaurant as well. 6.30 a.m. start. And we'll have sailed a total of 512.5 nautical miles. Wow. Oh, I love this. Look, crew nationality breakdown. Wow, they are from all over the world. 512 in total. Oh my goodness, my loves, if only we had some nibbles, eh? Oh, what the hell? Flying kettle crisps, who knew? Gimme, gimme, gimme your kettle crisp after midnight. Well, I'm gonna be busy for once. Mm, mm, mm. Lavender pillow spray, do your thing. Oh, all right, my darlings, I'll see you tomorrow for a lovely bit of disembowelment. I don't think that's right. All right, my darlings, I'll see you tomorrow for a little bit of disenchantment. I don't think that's right. Disassociation? Discharge? <clears throat> Disqualification? Disremembrance? Disequilibrium? Oh, goodness sake, whatever's happening tomorrow. I'll see you then. Good night, my loves. Remember, I love all of you. I don't love you. I don't love you. I don't love you. I, I love you. Good night. Mm -hmm. Good morning, Via. I mean, everybody. It's disembarkation day, and it's now just coming up to seven o'clock. As I said to you, cabins have to be vacated by seven a.m. on Ambassador unless you're a sweet guest. What a freaking liberty. Ritualistic goodbyes. Bye, bedroom area. You actually were very comfy. And no, I didn't bang my head on there. I mean, are you stupid? Bye, kettle area. I'll never forget I ordered room service for nearly nine pound and I was told I had to make my own coffee. Bye, bathroom. Thanks for not having any clingy curtains and being a, a nice powerful and hot shower. Bye. The usual issues in the buffet. There's no space to walk anywhere. People just walk in front of you. No cutlery on the table. No trays allowed. Gotta go up and down, up and down. Well, I just lined up 15, one five minutes to get my coffee. The machine then stops working. Man says, oh, you'll have to go to the other side. Thanks for that. Ask for cutlery because there's only spoons. No, not replaced. And now I've got a fork, wow. Breakfast, however, now cold. Way to go. Even though I'm up early for an express disembarkation, it's almost impossible to find a seat. Lines forming everywhere for just one exit. The line to get off. Nobody knows what they're doing. I think we call this a bun fight. I need to get more aggressive in my lining up. So there was only one member of crew zapping people off the ship, hence why the lines were ridiculous. <laughs> but I made it, I'm off, thank goodness. So out of the cruise terminal, cross here for your long-term parking. If you are walking to the station like I am, it's going to be directly ahead and right of the windmills. Not the kind of windmills I saw in Amsterdam. All right, I'm at Tilbury Town train station, which is the nearest train station to the cruise terminal. I had a couple online going on and on and on, saying how you can't walk it in 20 minutes. Uh, it takes 40. It's taken me 19, one, nine minutes. Sorry, but you're wrong. Get your facts straight. Maybe it took you 40 minutes. But are you ready for those reflections? Oh my goodness, I've got to get so much hate now, aren't I? Oh, help me, please.
I am pretty sure there is a cruise line for nearly everybody out there, even if you don't think there is. But Ambassador Cruise Line is not for me. It is way too inconsistent. For me, I had a very smooth check-in and embarkation. For others, they had a three hour wait. However, for those of us who did make it on board in good time, many of us had issues with our cruise cards and couldn't get into our cabins. In spite of the ship's age, I've got to say it looked fabulous on the inside. I actually really liked the interior. Likewise, I loved my cabin. It was spacious, it was bright, quite like the blue stripes on the back wall. Sorry to those of you who feel it's incongruent with the ship. I loved that. Also, I was very surprised that whilst my cabin was at the aft of the ship, there were very few vibrations. I really enjoyed the itinerary on this cruise as well. It was great having an overnight in Amsterdam. I had an opportunity therefore to also explore a little further afield and my day in Ghent was just fabulous. The crew of course were mostly fantastic, but there were a few who I felt were not helpful and lacking in courtesy, which was disappointing. It was really disappointing to me that the pools weren't in use at all as seems to be the norm, the buffet was a huge letdown for me from the design to the food, the range of food, and the difficulty in getting any kind of table, let alone a table for two. And that breakfast delivery was a total joke. Really, don't charge your customers nearly nine pound and tell them to make their own coffee. That's just unacceptable. Lastly, disembarkation was chaotic for those of us who were leaving the ship early. I can't imagine sailing with Ambassador again in a hurry unless they resolve some of these issues. That's just my experience. On that note, onwards and upwards. My next cruise is on Piano Avia sailing the Caribbean. In fact, I need to go now. I'll catch you soon. Thank you for your support in helping me reach over 20,000 subscribers. Today's shout outs to my patrons. You can become a patron by searching patreon.com forward slash travel blog Jamie. Thanks for watching and don't forget to follow me on Facebook, Jamie W. Robbins, X Threads and Instagram at Travel Blog Jamie, Patreon and Cameo.com forward slash Travel Blog Jamie, and of course YouTube. Ba -ba 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 -ba.